What is up fellow developers, my name is Tyler Potts and in today's video we're going to be creating a few JS drop down components. As you can see here we've got four different links and as you click on surfaces you can see it drops down a menu for you to click on, you can click off and so forth. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is move this over to the left and we're gonna stop this surf. We're gonna CD out of here and I'm gonna run few, create, and I'm gonna run drop down. Hit enter and it's gonna create a new project. It's gonna ask us what preset we want. We're gonna select default, so I'm gonna hit default. Okay, guys, as you can see, that is now done. So we're gonna CD into drop down and say and and code dot and then we're going to say and and yarn surf hit enter and this should open everything up good so we've got our um our code here so first thing we need to do is open up source components delete hello world and also delete the whole assets folder and then in our app view we want to remove the import we want to remove the component and we want to remove both the hello world um, component and the image hit save and on the right we should hit refresh and there you go nothing is appearing if we just type some random letters they appear let's actually remove the styling over here and that is golden so in here we're just going to add some quick default style i'm going to have margin zero padding equal to zero we're also going to have box sizing equal to border box. Our body will have a font family of Montserrat and sans serif. <coughs> now we're going to set up a header in here. So we're going to say header. And inside this header, we're going to have a navbar component. But for now, we're just going to say here header. We're going to give it a display or we'll just go say width 100 feet w uh, background color it's going to be 222 and the padding is going to be 15 pixel 15 pixels hit save and as you can see there's a nice gray box on the left now we need to create a new component so we're going to create a new component this is going to be the navbar.view so the navbar.view is obviously going to have a template which is going to have in a nav element and then Below this, we're going to have a script which gives it the name of navbar and a style which is going to have nothing in currently. So um, we're going to go into our app.view and we're going to import that component. So above the, just under the first script opening tag, we'll say import navbar from, we're going to say dot slash component slash navbar now in our components we're just going to say navbar which allows us to use it and inside header we're then going to once again type out navbar hit save and you'll see nothing has happened yet but if we go over to our navbar and we start typing in here like hello hit save you can see the text is printed out there which is perfect so we're going to add a few menu items to this so we're going to say menu hyphen item times three and then i'm going to put actually so with with a a tag in there times three so i'm just going to put oh that doesn't work is it that there you go perfect so hash and this one will say home second will be also a hash and it will say about third one will be a hash and it will say contact hit save and there you go, we've got three links, but then we don't have our nav bar, our, um, our drop down component yet, but that will come in um, soon. So first let's style what we have up. So we're gonna say nav, we're gonna give it a display of flex, we're gonna align item center, and we're also gonna justify the content center. We're gonna have nav.menu hyphen items, which is gonna have the color of white, The padding of 10 pixels 20 pixels 
um, a position of relative because we're going to be using some absolute positioning. We're going to say text align center border bottom. It's going to be three pixels solid but transparent because we don't want to see it yet. And we'll give it a display of flex. We're also going to give it a transition of 0 0.4 seconds, which is about right. We're then going to style our um, nav and we're going to say nav dot menu item um, a we're going to give it a color of inherit so it will grab the color which we've set on the um, diff and we're also going to give it a text sorry text decoration of none hit save and that's pretty much there it just hasn't stuck taken the right color why is it not taking the right color oh this says menu items it should just be menu item there we go so now it's looking good um, now we've got the home about and contact this is all good but we need well first we need a huffer effect state so let's go in here and we'll say naf dot menu item dot active and naf dot menu item hoffer and then we're going to say background color is going to be equal to a 444 and the border bottom or border color border bottom color maybe there we go and it's going to be ff5858 hit save now as you hover you can see it now um, animates as we hover onto the item um, so we need to set up some so we're going to need to set up a drop down but before we set up a drop down we're going to need some data and in this data we're going to return an object and obviously this is going to have a surfaces because we're going to have a surfaces drop down and in the surfaces it's going to have some objects it's going to be an array of objects so we're going to give them a title so i'm going to say web and then i'm going to give them a link which is going to say hash for now because we don't actually have links uh, we're going to give another title which would be equal to uh, design and again a link will be a hash oh where are we gone and finally we're going to have one more item and it's just going to be title it's going to be called videos and it's going to have a link equal to hash hit save and we will use that this data but first we need to create enough a new component so inside of our components we're now going to create the drop down component so drop down dot view, we're going to set up a template. Um, and inside a template, we'll just have a diff, but we'll leave that empty for one second while we set up the rest. So we're going to have a script with a name of drop down. And then finally, we're going to have a style um, again. So let's go into our template. So the first one we need is a diff with the class of menu hyphen item. Um, and in here, we're going to have an A which is going to have href of hash for now and we're going to pass through title so we're going to pass through a title for this as well and this is actually going to get passed through a actually no well yeah no um, and then below this we're actually going to have an svg and I have the svg right here it's just a little um, down arrow so if I hit save you won't notice anything because it's not actually got a width um, so that's fine, but we'll set the width in a second. Oh, we ain't pulling it through yet, cool. So let's actually go to our navbar. Let's actually now import that um, component. So we're gonna say import drop down from, and we're gonna say dot slash drop down, and then let's get a components going. And in here, we'll just say drop down. And between about and contact, we're gonna give the drop down but we're going to give it a title, which is going to be equal to surfaces. And we'll give it some items. Now the items is going to be bind, bound to our surfaces. So that is how that's going to work. We need to put a comma there. So hit save. And nothing's happened. But we have drop down, we have title, and we have that. So let's go into our drop down over here and check what's happening. So we've got a menu item again. Um, actually, sorry, this is a sub menu. 
Or is it a menu item? No, it's a menu item. That's a menu item. So we have our drop down with the title of surfaces and the items of surfaces. We then have our title being pulled through here. But the issue is we need to actually call props. Oh. So we need to pull through our props. And in here, we obviously have title and items. Hit save. Still not appearing for some reason. Okay guys, so from a quick look in the console, it looks like we actually made a mistake in our nav bar and see here with Dinko Poets, we did it as an array, it's supposed to be obviously an object. Hit save, and there you go, there is our drop down button. Now let's give that SVG some style. So we're gonna quickly just say um, nav dot menu hyphen item SVG, we're gonna give it a width of 10 pixels and a margin left of 10 pixels. Hit save, and that is now moved away. Perfect. So let's style up, um, let's actually add in the sub menu now. So below here, we're gonna say sub hyphen menu, hit tab, and then I'm going to basically do a V4. So we're gonna say dot menu hyphen item, and then hit tab again and then an A, which again. So in here, we're gonna say V, oh no, sorry, not on that, on the menu item itself, we're gonna say V4 is equal to, we're gonna say item I in items. We're then going to bind the key equal to I, and we're then gonna set the inside of here, we're gonna say item dot title so we're gonna pull through the title and again same with our href we're just gonna say item dot link um, and I think that is right so if we hit save yeah you'll see they're all now here the web design um, videos but they're not looking right so let's actually style them up to so down here in style we're just gonna say um, nav dot menu item dot sub menu uh, we're going to say position is equal to absolute our background color is going to be equal to 222 the um, top is going to be a calculation of 100% so we want it to sit at the very bottom of the surfaces but we also want a plus 18 pixels so the 15 pixels padding around the header and the um, three pixels for the border at the bottom of the links so that will cater for both of this space down here um, and the border as well we're going to set this left to 50% we're going to set a transform of uh, translate x which is going to be minus 50% we're then going to give it a width of max content, which means it's going to have the width what it needs to fit in its content. And we're going to say border radius, um, and that's going to be equal to zero pixels, zero pixels, 16 pixels, 16 pixels. Let's hit save. There you go. So now it's down here, which is good. It's looking all right. Um, we need to add that to the last item, but that's fine. So we'll say, um, well, Actually, I think that's what we need. Now we just need to show, add an animation for it to come in when we do. So to add the animation, we're actually going to use a few transitions. So we're going to use transition. If I can spell. Um, let's bring this up. Transition. And we're going to give it a name of um, drop down or maybe even just fade. Um, and then we're going to give it the appear attribute, which is going to allow it to appear as soon as it's on. We're going to set, we're going to give some data now. So we're going to say data. And in here, we're going to say um, return. And we're going to say is open is equal to false by default. And we're going to put on the sub menu, we're going to say fee hyphen if is open. Now that's obviously going to be um, wrong. So when you see it's going to be, it's going to be false anyway. It's really annoying me that the error said it's going to be false anyway so we need to actually have a way to make this appear and we're going to say at click is equal to is open is equal to not is open so we're going to hit save 
And if we click here, you can see now it appears and now it doesn't. So let's add the fade transition in. So with a um, few transitions, we need to set a few classes. So we need to say dot fade. So this part, the fade, comes from the name of the transition. Then we want to give it a hyphen, so enter hyphen active. And we also want to say fade hyphen leave hyphen active. So this happens the, while the um, transition is entering and leaving while it's active. And we'll give it a transition of all 0.5 seconds ease out. We're then going to go to or fade hyphen enter and also dot fade hyphen leave hyphen two. Now this one is what happens when it first starts and ends. So we're going to set the opacity to zero and the transform equal to translate x 100 VW. Actually, sorry, we don't need transform, we're doing opacity. So if we tap this, you can see it now fades in nice and fine. So that was a very simple drop down tutorial. Now we can make multiple of these drop downs and whatever you want. Um, and I think this is a pretty cool way to say it out. So um, without further ado guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a quick few basics video again. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. If you want to see more, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button, leave a comment and share the video. So thanks for watching guys and peace. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving